law of attraction to me it's not necessarily like you know i woke up this morning and i did a 10 minute visualization of what i want but i think it's throughout the day just always speaking like into existence like what i want to have happen When I first got turned on to this whole idea of the law of attraction, it was our business partner, Nathan, um, told me about the secret and which is really your entry level into the law of attraction. And there's, you know, way, way, way further depths or higher levels of understanding. But with the secret, I remember for a year, I would wake up every morning and when I was in the shower, I would say out loud to myself, I'm so grateful for the opportunity to work hard and make great money. I would say that every day in the shower, like, thank you for the opportunity to work hard and make great money. And the work hard was the important part. Like I'm grateful to have to go and, and just work 14, 16, 18 hours a day that mm -hmm. I get the opportunity to go do that and make great money. Mm -hmm. And it didn't matter if the day before was just the absolute worst day in the entire world, did not want to go back to that same place, did not want to talk to those same people. I was grateful for the opportunity to work hard and make great money. And it just put me in this mindset mm -hmm. in the very first thing in the morning to walk into that day feeling unstoppable no matter what happened. And I think the reverse of that or the flip side of that is even more important, which is, you know, leaving the house saying like, oh, I'm always late. Well, then of course you're gonna hit traffic and of course something's gonna happen where you're, where you're gonna be late. Or, or, you know, when you get up in the morning, you're like, oh, today's gonna be the, just the most chaotic day. Well, it's like, well, no crap. Like you, you just like brought that into your life. Um, and so it's really auditing that stuff and making sure that you're not speaking, you know, honoring your word and uh, that you're not speaking that stuff into fruition. But then, you know, playing offense and, and telling yourself like, man, this meeting is going to go incredible. This, this Q and A that we're about to do is going to be awesome. And just like, I think it's, it's this balance between being, you know, aggressively optimistic, um, and just always looking at the bright side of situations and thinking about what you want, like what you want the end result to be, just always having that in the forefront of your mind. I think the majority of people miss the point of the law of attraction, which is the actual work side of it that you can't just manifest, you have to actually do something. But I think the majority of people think that believing in the law of attraction is enough and that trying to utilize the law of attraction is enough, but you actually have to still go out and work. So the law of attraction is awesome. The law of attraction is a great idea, but ideas are just that ideas without action. There is no impact ultimately that you're making. So yeah, you can, you can think about what you want. All you, you can think about what you want all day long. You can, you know, you can manifest, you can meditate, you can do all these different things, but until one foot, one foot goes in front of the other and you start walking towards whatever you're actually trying to have manifested, then nothing's going to happen.